Hello Cancers, sorry I've been off for so long that I'm back now and as always if you want a private reading just email me at dragonenchantress at aol.com So let's see what the current energy is and my email is uh, below, it's right below in the description box below this video So current energy we have hope, anticipation, bright prospects, wish Knowledge, study, learning, education. Hunter, aggressor, tracker, provider. Hmm. Reason, listen to advice, think clearly, intellect. And please don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. Nobility, honor, high standards, idealistic, courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners. So what I'm getting from this is that your integrity is a, is being tested or possibly about, for this energy group, um, your integrity is about to be tested. You might be going through some karmic tests that you're not even completely aware of. Like you might just think it's like a string of bad luck or it's um, like you might not understand where this energy is coming from. Take it how it resonates, but I'm getting the energy of sabotage. So there's two different stories here. For some of you, this is you sabotaging yourself. It's saying that maybe you've been working really hard for something. Like maybe you've been going to school or you've been, um, maybe you're like an entrepreneur and you've been focusing on a certain career path. You've been putting all this energy into it. But on some like deep underlying level, you have this fear of success. You have this fear of, you know, maybe you're going to lose old toxic friends if you, you come into this period of life where you're successful. Maybe you're afraid that people are going to get jealous of you, that there's going to be competition. Maybe some part of you feels like you don't fully deserve it deep down. There might be like some underlying like insecurities. Just I'm also getting like responsibility here. Like there's this energy of like fear of just fear of change, fear of all these big life changes that you can feel are just around the corner and not knowing just, you know, the fear that comes with that. Like what's, you know, is there going to be relationship loss, job loss, uh, what kind of sacrifices are going to be required in order to, to bring this energy about. Um, and just, like I said, the fear of just responsibility, just being in this, on this higher position. So, because we have an ability here, we have high standards, idealistic, courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners. I'm kind of seeing these two cards going together where it's like you're going to be in a higher position in the near future. Like definitely this year is what I'm seeing. So this could be a new job. This could be a promotion, like being promoted to manager. To manager. I don't know why I said manager. <laughs> manager. Um being promoted, maybe graduating school and actually, you know, it, it's finally real. You have to go out there and actually apply for these jobs that you have a degree in now. Um, it's, it's like, it's like you're finally there. It's like you're at the, you're, you're in like the nine of pentacles right now and you're about to be in the 10 of pentacles probably within like the next few months. And it's almost like there's like these fears that you're, you're not expecting to come out that are just suddenly resurfacing. It's like, this is what you've been excited about. This is what you've been working towards for so long. For some, this could be a relationship too. This could be like a relationship that you've been trying to manifest. And, you know, now it's finally here and it's in your face. And it's like, you don't even know what to do with it. Cause it's like, you've been maybe dreaming about this person for months or years. Um, or you've been, you know, using like a vision board and putting it out to the universe, what kind of qualities you want in a man or a woman. And then it's like you're at a cafe and unexpectedly you just, you know, at the grocery store, wherever, unexpectedly you just bump into someone and you get to talking and you're like, oh my God, like this is that person. And I feel like, cause I get like a sense of like excitement and fear with this general energy I'm picking up on. So it almost feels like it's like you've been so excited for it, but it's almost like it's just been a dream. Whatever this energy is, whether this is a relationship, this is a job. And there's a second group here where this is actually a person trying to sabotage you. So I'm going to get into that energy as well. But just let me finish up for group one here uh, in this energy group. 
But yeah, it feels like something that even like like you want it, you know. And I mean, it's not something that you're you're hesitant about. It's something that you're sure that you want. This is something you've been trying to manifest for a while. Like, I don't feel like this would be like a new hobby you've just been working at for the past couple of weeks. This is like a hobby or a career goal or, you know, like college, entrepreneurship, um, a relationship you've been trying to manifest, you know, starting your own business, those kind of things. Things that you've been manifesting probably for years, like things that you've really put all your heart and soul into. But I feel like up until up until this year, it's just kind of been a dream. It's been one of those things where it's like you fantasize about it and you're working towards it. But I think your spirit guides are kind of saying like ground yourself because when this energy actually comes in, it's going to scare you a lot more than you think it is. You know, like when you actually get that degree and you have to go out and apply for jobs and you're actually in that environment, like you're going to have more anxiety than you're expecting to. Or like I said, if it's like a relationship where it's like you've been manifesting this, you've been using the vision board, you've been telling the universe what kind of person you want, and then you just run into them, you know, make sure you don't have resting bitch face when you run into them. Make sure, you know, some of you might like panic a little bit and be like, wait, what? Like, and you might almost like want to run off from this person because you're just like, it's in your face. You know what I mean? It's like, it's kind of safe when it's just a dream. It's like, it's something that you fantasize about, but, um, your spirit guides are kind of warning you like when. They're, they're basically saying it's coming in. Whatever you've been manifesting, it is coming in. But for some reason, it's it's going to scare you. I think it's the fear of loss, too. I think it's, like I said, it's like you've been dreaming about it and manifesting it for so long that when it actually becomes a reality, I think a lot of you are going to get scared because you're like, like, oh, my God, it's here. Like, I've been I've been put so much heart and soul into this. Like, what would happen to me if I lost it? What, what if I can't do it? What if I'm not good enough? What if I get something wrong? What if I, you know, if it's like any relationship, like what if I say the wrong thing? What if, you know, what if I am not ready? What if I I need to go to the gym more? I need to do this more. And it's like, avoid the procrastination. If it's coming in now, then your spirit guides feel that you're ready now. So you got to just trust them on that. Even if you don't feel ready yourself, trust that they're bringing these things into you, into you. Um, You know, you're calling them to you. But, but yeah, like I said, it's like, you might have personal challenges, internal struggle, the monster within. It's like you finally get there to that Ten of Pentacles and then there's like, I'm seeing like the Ten of Pentacles and the Devil card and the Moon card. And, you know, the Devil card is all about like, it's past traumas, it's fears. It's like the, it's like mental struggle. It's the things that hold you back. The Moon card is often about, it can be about illusion and deception. I also see it as things that are hidden. So I almost feel like it's like you, you're not going to expect to have this anxiety. And so I think your guides are kind of preparing you for this. It's not like an outer world, world physical tower moment. It's almost like an, like an internal tower moment where it's like, there's not going to be anything like negative happening outside of you. It's more like inside where you, you finally have this dream realized and you know, some part of you might it might scare you so much. Some part of you might want to go back to old sabotaging behaviors. You know, you, you might question it. Like I said, you might, it's like, you're going to be in like a higher position, nobility, honor, high standards, idealistic. Um, for a couple of you, this could even be royalty or something of that sort. I feel like it's also a large sum of money coming in for many of you. But yeah, like I said, it's going to require, it's like thoughtful, polite, good manners. Like you have to, you you know, you being on your best behavior. And so I think there's that, like, like I said, the fear of responsibility, all the pressure, the societal pressure that's going to be on you, the pressure you're going to be putting on yourself to like do this right. So your guides are really calling for you to just ground yourself and have that balance. You don't need to be perfect, but don't run in the other direction when you finally get this have this dream achieved you know what I mean don't sabotage it don't if you meet your dream person you've been manifesting for the past couple years and they you know check 90 out of 100 boxes you know don't sabotage it because they don't have those other 10 boxes checked like don't don't overlook your blessings don't overlook with the things that your spirit guides are trying to bring into your life because like I like I said for some of you it's like you might meet this person you've been manifesting and you're gonna be like oh no this couldn't possibly be them like because they're they're you know what I mean like it might be like sabotage where you're just like not couldn't be that easy there's no way I just met them at the grocery store just like that like I go from being single to being in a relationship two weeks later you're like some part of you is going to be 
It's almost like I feel like in the past, like, you were really insecure and, like, you didn't really feel like you have you deserved good things. And, like, it's like you've been working on yourself the past few years or so and really, like, doing the healing work, doing the shadow work. You've done a lot of, like, deep purging, like, really, you know, going all out. Um, a lot of you have been doing this alone, too. A lot of you have been completely by yourselves, just, you know, no support system, just keeping your goals and dreams to yourself, just hustling, you know, maybe some of you are working 40, 50 hours a week even. It's like you guys are just, you've been working on yourself. You've been working on your dreams. You've you've had that tunnel vision in a really positive way. Like you're not letting anyone get in between you and those dreams. Um, and it's almost like a lot of you now have this mindset of like, like independence and not being able to trust people and not, it's like overthinking things. It's almost like, it, it's like a positive thing, like, like you've learned a lot, you're on the right path, but some of you have taken that independence too far, if that makes sense. Like, like you've come too far out of balance where it's like you need to learn how to be social again, how to trust again, how to find that. It's like there's like an internal struggle. Like there's not an internal balance right now is kind of how I, how it feels. Even if you're like, you know, motivated and, and happy and you're like, I'm, I'm making my dreams come true. Some of you, it's like you have to let yourself have fun. You have to let yourself be social too. Because for some of you, it's like this independence, it's almost, it, the independence has almost gotten to a point where it's like self-sabotage, where it's like you, how do I explain this energy? It's, it's almost like a control issue now, where it's like over-independence for some of you. It, it's kind of like what I was saying, where it's like you might meet this person and you, you know, you have this, this plan in mind of how things are going to go. And then it's like you meet this person unexpectedly. And it's like, like I said, it's what you've been manifesting, but for some of you, it might not come in the way that you thought. So like some of you might think that this person lives in another state and you're like, oh shit, they live near me or vice versa. Um, some of you might feel like, like you, like, it's almost like a control issue where it's like, you have like your whole life planned out where you're like, I think I'm going to meet this person and in the fall or in next year the, around this time. And we're going to move to this location and I'm going to have this job in this field. And it's saying, you know, be a little bit more, you know, fluid, be more flexible here because you might meet this person. Your spirit guides are going to surprise you because they want you to let go of the control issues. So you're probably going to meet this person where you least expect it. Like if you try to control it and you try to like be like, I'm going to meet this person in, in, at this time in this area, they're probably going to throw you off and you're going to meet them somewhere completely different than you'd think you would. Same with like that job. If you're like, oh, I'm going to, I have to get a promotion at work. I'm going to do this and this and this. Your guides might throw you off and you might end up in a different career field or a different job. Um, and, you know, leveling up there. It's, it's like, it's not, you're getting a lot of success um, and you're getting exactly what you asked for, but it might not come in the exact ways that you asked for. Like some of you could even be holding onto an ex and it's like, you're asking for someone that meets all these, you know, certain requirements. And so your ex might not meet those requirements. So they might bring you somebody new and, you know, you're just, you're being guided to just let go of control issues, let things flow naturally, step out of your comfort zone. Don't overthink things. Cause I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing that card from the Doreen Virtue deck. Um, your, your soulmate might differ from your usual type and expectations. So it, it's like, it might not look like how you think it's going to look that this person, it's like you have like the whole, like your whole five to 10 years planned out. And it, it's, it's going to, a lot of these things are going to come randomly when you least expect it. And they're not going to come. I hate to say it like, but when you're in that state of like control, it makes it so that you're, you're kind of like blocked off. It's like your chakras are blocked off. So it's hard for these things to come to you. Have you ever noticed that like you, like when you're like thinking super positively, but you're like in that energy of control, it has to happen this way. It has to be this job, this person, this, this, this. Have you noticed that like nothing manifests? Like you just feel stagnant and stressed. Like you're going against the flow when that happens. And have you noticed that like when you're just living your best life, like you're just going out and having fun, like you're doing, you know, you're pursuing your passions. You're just in the moment. You're just, you feel that in your body. Like you can feel your chakras are open. You can feel that kind of free spirited, adventurous, just open-minded energy. Have you noticed that that is when you really manifest things? That's when you meet that stranger that, you know, has a job offer for you that you weren't expecting. That's when you meet your, your true love that you, you know, didn't think was going to come for another year or two, 
that's it, it's like when you're in that energy when you're in that free spirited just open minded just you know letting the universe guide you that's when you may really manifest things so it's kind of saying like don't you know like i said don't be stubborn when when um when you meet this person it might it might not be what you expect but um yeah, so you might have a bit of an internal struggle, like I was saying, some anxieties, some fears, some traumas coming up. You've done a lot of healing work, like you've done the majority of the healing work, don't get me wrong. It's just saying like you're in that final stretch, you're almost there, you're at the nine of pentacles, you're going to the ten of pentacles. So like when it's, when you, you have to, like I said, you've been in this independent energy where it's like you're kind of like in a dream world almost, where it's like you're, you're, you put all this energy into manifesting this, but it's just been a dream and so when it's actually a reality, like physically in your face, it's just, it's going to scare you so much more than you realize. Like I said, some of you have been manifesting this person and when you meet them, it's like, don't brush them off. Don't, don't think, no, it couldn't be, it's too good to be true or this couldn't be this easy. No, like open your mind up, balance, ground yourself. If you get a job offer and it's not the, it's not in your, in your current field or it's not what you were expecting, like be open, be open to these new experiences, to these like stepping stones, you know what I mean? Because I feel like there's just a lot of unexpected blessings that are going to come into you, but you have to be open to receiving it and you have to be flexible and not assume it's just going to be from one specific area. Um, for others, sorry for group two that I do, you're probably off by now. You're probably not even, group two probably isn't even watching this by now. Um, and for some of you, this could be both. You Maybe both messages apply to you. But for some, I feel like you're studying something, like learning knowledge, education. You know, you've been hopeful. And I feel like there could be someone aggressive in your life. And only, you know, don't don't go trying to interrogate everybody. Don't assume the worst about everybody. You would feel this energy already. Like, you would already see all these red flags. And you, you would know this. You know, this would just be further confirmation if this is for you. But for some, this could be someone that's, like, misogynistic or somebody that's, like, like a best friend or, like, a lover where it's, like, they just don't want you to move out of the space you've been in like maybe you've been kind of alone for a long time because you've been so focused on your goals on school or manifestation whatever this energy is and like maybe they're like one of the only people you talk to and so you're like maybe there's like a little jealousy there that like when you get to that level you're gonna you're getting to that you're gonna leave them behind or you're gonna be going out and meeting new people this could even be like a husband or wife or someone that's been like support, like financially supporting you and like being there for you. But it's like they're, they want you to reach your dreams, but it's like there's some like underlying insecurities and jealousy. And again, only don't, don't, if, if you have like a supportive, loving person, you're like, don't, this isn't for you. Cause I'm, I'm getting a warning here. Like, don't assume this is, this is for everybody. This is like, you would know this, you would see all these red flags. Like you would feel like a toxic energy around this person. This wouldn't just be, this wouldn't be news to you. Um, but yeah, for some, it's like you have someone that's like aggressive and that, that it's like, they, they want you reliant on them. And they might give you advice, but it might be bad advice. They might just be giving you this advice because it's like they want you to stay reliant on them. And so there might be a need to protect yourself from these people. I guess that message was a little bit more to the point than I thought it was going to be. Um, let me see what else I can get here really quick. Say what you mean. Love. Hmm. Take off your mask. That's a really interesting energy. We have say what you mean, love, and take off your mask. Wow. That's really interesting. Wild. Hmm. Masks is in plural, possibly. Yeah, I think you know if this is your story. And if you see these cards and you're like, I think it means this for me, take it that way. You know, this is an intuitive exercise too. Don't just take it the way I say it. Like if it, if you think this means something else for you, then use your intuition. But yeah, for a lot of you, it's like you need to say what you mean in this in this context. Take off your mask. Look at how these cards go together. Say what you mean. Like take off your mask. Like be wild. Be, be wild. Be vulnerable. Be open. Be free-spirited. Be your true self. 
Because it's like for some of you, it's like love has already come in and it's like you're not seeing it. It's like you need to, like, don't play games. Be upfront, be honest. Um, take off your mask. Don't hide from this. So, you know, take it as it resonates. But that's what I'm feeling here. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is in the description box below the video.